shooting his 360 with one lens against the sun or turning the camera sideways. Let's investigate the rumors with four different cameras and check it out how they behave in hard sunlight. Shooting outdoors can be tricky, not only because the wide dynamic range that 360 cameras have to deal with, but the direction of the light is also very important. Especially on days like this. It's winter, so besides it's really cold, the sun is not as high as on summer, so it causes more trouble not only to blinding me, but blinding the cameras too. So I decided to do a short test how these cameras behave in such conditions. I've got the brand new One X here with a really thin body looking quite similar to the Ricoh Theta models, but just in case I've got a Theta too. And here is the Mad V or Misfear with a thin but wide body and the camera rig with two single cameras which have no software connection during shooting, so they process the image independently. And we will see how they fit together, so let's jump into it. I start with the Kodak Pix Pro rig. As it has two independent cameras, I was thinking that it could be risky pointing one of them directly to the sun. But as you can see there are not big problems in the image, and the stitched video looks fine. The only problem you might observe is that reddish refraction on the top of the front lens. But everything else is pretty good, turning it in 45 degrees it's even better. The red refraction disappears, but we can see strong sunbeams instead, with some color distortions. Then turning the stitch line against the sun, we got the best result. The white area around the sun is quite small, while there are no disturbing refractions or distortions. So in this case we can say that the rumor was true, that we get the best result when the side of the camera faces the sun. But what about this guy? I've got the basic idea of shooting this whole video because of Misfear or Mad V. I had it with me during traveling all around in Asia and Europe as a 360 vlogging cam, and sometimes I felt like it behaved a little bit differently than I expected. It took days or weeks until I got my footage copied to the computer, and then I realized something interesting. So let's see this orange guy on the pole. Thanks to the special design, Miss Firo Mad V360 seems to be a little bit different than an every 360 cam. Now you can see how the image looks like when the front lens faces directly to the sun. It seems almost perfect. Then I start to rotate it, and two seam lines appear between the lenses. But finally the situation is getting way better when the stitch line faces the sun. And as you can see there are no refractions and color distortions, doesn't matter how we position the camera. So besides the seam lines in the sky, everything seems perfect. Or not? I made this test a couple of times and on another day I recorded this footage. Starting with one lens facing the sun, the image looks perfect. Then as I turn it around, the seam lines appear in both sides and they don't disappear even when the sun crosses the stitch line. Moreover, it looks worse, and as the sun crosses the stitch line, it's very flashy. It's quite surprising, isn't it? First, I had this experience during shooting my travel vlogs, and as you can see, due to the square shape, it behaves differently than other 360 cameras. But let's see another camera shape. The lenses of Vinsa 360 One X are very near the edge of the body. And as you can see, facing the sun, it handles the light very well. The seam lines on the sides are not so visible, but we can see a new kind of color issue, a small red dot in the image. Then as I turn the camera around, the seam lines are getting stronger, and I can see both the seam lines and the red dot moving continuously until I turn the camera totally to the side. And this is the best position with this camera. There are no seam lines and our red dot is disappeared too. Then as I continue rotating we can see the red dot again on the other side, moving with the lens. And when it's facing the sun, the red dot is still visible. It only disappears when the edge of the camera faces the sun again. So as you can see we've got the best result the way like with the Kodak rig, but this camera behaves differently than the Misfear, and besides seam lines now we have to deal with the red spot in the image. But finally let's see the Theta, which has a very similar body. Pointing the front lens to the sun, there are no disturbing seam lines, but we see a red dot just like with the One X. 
As I start to turn the camera, the seam lines are getting more visible, while we can see the red dot moving around the sphere. In some other cases we also can see an ugly lens flare all along the front lens. And as I turn around with the camera, it seems like the red dot is a part of the long lens flare. Then turning to the side, the seam lines and the lens flare disappear, but the red dot is still visible jumping to the other side. It seems like this shape causes the red spot in hard sunlight. The difference between the Theta and One X is that with the proper setup it disappears from the Insta360 image. As a summary I can say that in most of the cases the rumor about turning the camera sides against the sun is true, but surprisingly the MeSphere or MedVCam works completely differently. And don't forget that now I made this test with a tripod. Shooting with a moving camera is getting more complicated because it's quite hard to keep the camera in the same position during walking, riding a bike, driving or shooting with a drone. So it's very difficult to avoid red dots with the One X and Theta or lens flares with a setup like Kodak Pix Pro Ring. Maybe the Misphere does the best job because it has no refractions and color distortions and it's a little bit easier to keep the camera in the optimal angle range. Of course now I'm only talking about the optical issues in hard sunlight. It's not about the overall quality of these devices. But if you have any experience and comments about this topic, please write me in the comment section. And if you like this short video, please push the like button. And if you are interested about further 360 content and tutorials, subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you soon guys!